Well, thanks for joining me again. I've got in my collection a Hot Wheels Formula Fuelers. I've got motorbikes. I've got two motorbikes. I've got like a dragster motorbike or a chopper. I've got a sporty motorbike. I've got a Subaru over here. And I've got a launcher with a plane. And that's interesting. But you need a lot of room to be able to operate these. And um, I haven't opened these. Um, for example, that's 2003, 2003, 2004, 2005 that they came out. So uh, they're over 10 years old. But these are really interesting because with these, you have mixers that you can do. So you can put some of them, you can put orange juice in, Coca-Cola, um, all sorts of things that you can put into a bottle. And they do require some batteries, uh, which I'll put in. So I thought I might open them up and uh, show you what I've got. But what I'll do with these is I'll actually take them down the park or somewhere and where there's a bit of room and we'll watch them go and see what they can do. And this one will be the interesting one, the plane. Uh, we'll see if the plane actually flies. It says it's a launcher, um, but that'll be interesting to see what they do. So, let's open them up. Okay, well we have the motorbike, so let me get this out of the packet. There's our little juice bottle. Looks interesting, doesn't it? And, of course, these always come in handy. The good old instructions. And we've got some tablets as well. So, they're interesting. Obviously, we're going to put them into the bottle. But let's see. For this guy, it's pretty good. Nice wheels. Bit of detail on there. That's where I'm going to put the batteries. And nice fat wheels, look at that. Hot Wheels FF. So, Formula Fuelers. And there's a little switch there for the battery. All right, so let's put the batteries in. Okay, as you can see, I've got my little fuel container. We pop this off here. This is where the bottle is going to go. I have a tablet, and I decided I'm going to use Coca-Cola. So that's what it tells you to do. And we're going to mix this up, put it into the bottle, and let's see what happens. So here we go. Let's open this up with our little tablet. Look at that, little tablets in there. So I'll throw one of them into there. It's fizzing up a little bit. Looks it around. So it fizzing. Get this ready. So, uh, my little tablet is nearly finished fizzing down there. And let's put it into here. Put the lid back on, so... And this goes into here. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> I'll put it in this way. Well, oh, there you go. nothing happened. And it's 12 years later. So anyway, what I decided to do is I've taken the screws out. I've taken the body off. And 
I still can't get it going, but it's all brand new in there. Like, you look in there, it's fantastic. It's all brand new, squeaky clean, but I cannot get it going. So, whether it's a fault right from the beginning or because it's been sitting around, I don't know. But it should work with the switch. But anyway, I can't get it working, so I thought, well, I might as well show you inside what it does. So, you can take this wheel off. And you can see all the electronics in there. But what I wanted to show you is that bottle. So remember, with Formula Fuelers, whoop, you've got the bottle here, and you put it in there. Now you can see there's two connections in here that go in there. And there's two connectors there. They obviously make electricity or a connection for the power to run through. And you slide that into there and there you go well seeing we're still on the motorbikes let's bring the other packet i've got and we'll move our non-goer over here put him over here and this is a sporty looking motorbike isn't it looks very fast so again this is brand new never been open and Let's get this one out and see what this one is all about. All right, let's move this over here. As you can see, another one brand new. Another take out of the wrapping. Look at that. That's really a nice looking bike, isn't it? Number one, Hot Wheels. Nice wheels. And this one, look at that. There's his bottle that goes in the back here. So, nice rider. So, as we know, we've already got it made up. And I've already put these in. So, what I might do is, seeing I've got the bottle in the other one, I'll just leave that one there. I would think that the bottles are interchangeable. So, because I've already got the this one from what we're going to do oh his head's come off that's no good gotta stick that back on for a good look all right so there's the bottle which we already had made up so oh yes i've got to put batteries in so let's put the batteries in Well, I've got some good news. Remember this bike? I thought it wasn't going from brand new. Well, here's a lesson. I use new batteries. I read the instructions, but I didn't read all the instructions. And look, there's a button there. What I'm supposed to do is turn it on, hold the button, and look at that. We have power. And then that button you turn off. So the good news is, I actually have two bikes, brand new, 12 years later and 14 years later, that work. And on this one, these buttons are really good. Like, you can't see them unless you read the instructions. They just look like part of the, the motorbike. So very clever. So I hold that in. Look at that. We have two runners. So what we'll do, as I said before, we've got fuel. Actually, let me have a look to see if it runs. What happens? I'll get it running again. Let's see what happens when I take the fuel out. Hmm, still running. Interesting. Yeah, we'll go and test them out. So there you go. Read the instructions carefully. And doesn't matter how old you are and how long you've been collecting, you can always learn something new. Well, seeing I'm on a roll, I might as well put the motorbikes over here and let's have a look at the Subaru. So let me move our fuel. And as you can see, this is brand new as well. This is uh, 2004. These came out. And lovely little box. As you can see, I've got the two motorbikes. We've got the Subaru and the other ones I haven't got, but I think I've got more than enough to um, see what they go like. 
So the Formula Fuelers Races. So let's open up the Subaru and see what it does. Well, as you would have seen, that one was really well packed. A lot of packaging. And there's our little fuel up there. So, now we can see it. Nice little model. So, let's put the batteries in this one and see what it does. Okay, well this time I read the instructions. And again, we have our little bottle. So seeing I've still got a mix from what we did with the motorbikes, let's put our little mix in. So we have our mix of Coca-Cola, and we have also in the mix before one of the tablets that they supply. And this one goes into the back, into this section. So that slides into there. Now, what I looked, I read the instructions, and there's the button there. But very hard to see the button. It, it blends in nicely. So, we turn it in. We turn it on. Sorry, from underneath. So let's turn it on. Let's hold the button, and let's see what happens. Look at that. It even sounds fast that one. Let's try the button the other way. Hold it in. There you go. Cool. So, ready to roll. We have the Subaru, the motorbike, and the big chopper. Well, you might be asking, is he going to open this one? So, we have the Hot Wheels Formula Fuelers Sky Force. Well, See, I've now got three out of three that run, and I, I know what I'm doing because, as I said before, I've read the instructions. Well, why not? Let's open the Sky Force and see what this one's all about too. Well, believe it or not, I'm still going with the packaging, but I've worked it out. So, here we go. I finally have got to the bottle. So, here's our bottle. And of course, in here, we have some other contraptions. So, look at that. Elastic bands. This is obviously going to fire the plane up. I'll have to see what this is. It's interesting. I'm not sure what that is. But, of course, I'm going to have to read the instructions, aren't I? And here is our manual and the instructions that tells us how we're going to set this plane up to fly. So you can see under there, there's going to be a rubber band under here, under the plane. So I'm going to put that under there. Okay, well, as what we've got to do with all of them, let's put in the batteries. Well, I've read the instructions and I've figured it out. Now, I'll give you a crash course. We put our fuel into the container here. And then what this thing is, is this, you squeeze this and see how the fuel goes up in there? It's now in the plastic. I undo my bottle. And this one's very high tech, isn't it? Interesting. I squeeze more fuel out of there. Squeeze it into my bottle and I fill it up. There, we have Coke and one of their tablets in there. I screw the lid on to my fuel, shake it up. Now, where does it go? Let me move out of this out over here. 
in the back of our rocket truck, this is where I put the fuel in. Right, fuel is in, so she's fueled. All right, so the plane. I put the elastic band into the plane where it's supposed to go. By the way, that's a that's a rubber little nose there. And there's a hook. And I hooked the plane onto there. You can see the rubber band is hooked. And I moved the plane back and it has a stopper on the back. So I'll just show you. There's a stopper on the back there. It hooks onto there. So the plane is sitting there and you can see there is a rail. So what do we do next? Well, before I fly it, just in case it only gets one fly and I lose the plane and I crash it, I'm going to show you what this toy does. Well, let's see what it does. So we have a button here. I've turned the button from underneath. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this under the wheels because this takes off. And because we're inside, I don't want it to run off the table. So let's see what happens. What do you think of that? Now, as you can see, the plane didn't go far. And thank goodness it didn't knock my coke over with our fuel. But there's more to this. This has an extension. So this extends out. And now we put the plane on again. It stretches back. And we lock it into there. And what you'll notice now is that this elastic band is now stretched. So that's what's going to give it the power to fly high into the sky. So basically, you're going to see what happens. But I'm going to take the plane off because I don't want it shooting inside and hitting the ceiling. Because I, I will show you what happens outside. Because don't forget, these wheels turn and it takes off. So what we'll do for safety, let's take the plane off. I'll actually take this off the, the ramp. Let's leave the plane there so you can see. Let's move the drink out of the way. And when I start it up, I'm going to go to the other side of the room of this table because you're going to see what's going to happen. There you go. That's what happens. And obviously when it's going along, see how the, the ramp comes down. And then there's a button under here that I just press that brings the ramp back down. And she's ready to launch again. So I'll just put the plane on without the plastic band. And let's put it on the ramp. One more time, inside. So here we go again. So there you go. Obviously the plane will stay on with the elastic band and that clicking noise that you can hear what that is, as I said before, when, when it keeps running, you can see the launch has gone down. So as it's going fast, it'll come down by itself. But um, while I've got it up in the air, that's what that clicking noise is. So there you go. So we have the launcher. We have the plane. We have a chopper. We have a Subaru and we have a sports motorbike.
or powered by these little bottles, double A batteries. And so I'm going to take it to take them to a park and let's see what fun we can have with them. Thanks for watching.